Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am back in the kitchen. It is Friday and it is time for me to just get caught up. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear but uh, my allergies are definitely kind of kicking my butt this time of year. I, I really suffer from tree pollen allergies so springtime is the worst for me. So it's been a rough several weeks. Um, it seems like usually the month of April is when I'm just kind of miserable. I have taken all kinds of stuff and I'm doing the best I can to take care of myself, but it just sort of wears me out. And I don't know about you, but Easter this year seems like it's just taken a while to recover from between my daughter being home from school and my husband being off work and we were just all together as a family, which was awesome. But I was, you know, enjoying the downtime and let some of my fly lady routines and stuff slide. So um, today's Friday. I'm just trying to get everything back on track. I sat down for five minutes and ate my breakfast, which was, of course, leftover Easter eggs for <laughs> some boiled eggs. So, uh, and I took my bullet journal out and I just made a quick list of everything I could think of that I needed to get done today, which is a lot and it feels overwhelming. But then I thought, okay, just take it in baby steps. So I no, I went through and just prioritized like the first seven or eight things that I think I absolutely have to get done. So I'm going to set my timer for seven minutes and start off with just getting the kitchen kind of in order and hopefully that will sort of spur me on to just keep going and get the other things done first. And I am going to start a load of laundry real quick. So I have, I don't know if you can see it, but kind of on that corner there is where I keep a basket that I put our uh, dirty washcloths and dish towels in. So once they're dry, then the next morning I put the dirty one in, get a clean one out. So I'm going to take that back and start a load of laundry with those and um, some few, I think I have some other towels and stuff I need to wash from our master bedroom. So I'm going to get that going and then I will be back and I'm not counting my seven minutes yet because I'm going to focus just on the kitchen in those seven minutes. So if you have some cleaning you need to get done or if you're like me and you're just sort of needing to catch up and get a fresh start for the weekend, then hopefully you can jump in and clean along with me. So here we go. Let's get the first item going, which is laundry, and then we'll come back to focus on the kitchen. trash from our bathroom because I need to gather all that up today as well. I'm going to set the timer on the stove for 45 minutes because that's how long the load of laundry will take so that'll remind me to switch it. So now that the timer is set, let me switch you around a little bit and I'm going to um, get started on cleaning the kitchen. So let's set the timer for seven minutes and see what we can get done. to see before I take things into a different room what needs to go where and it looks like a lot of this is either for the kitchen or my daughter's room so I'll be right back Recycling and 
this is. These are just coloring pages and school papers. So let me go through those real fast. they did. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, and then this was, these are coloring pages. So I'm going to recycle that. Probably recycle that. I don't think we need to keep that unless she wants to do a puzzle with it. I'm going to put that with the coloring pages. So this was probably an Earth Day little craft they did at school. And I don't think we need to keep that. Okay, none of this actually goes in here. The rest of it goes in the other room. So one more trip to my desk. Okay. Okay, now then, what's left? These are her vitamins. And sunglasses. I think this needs to go in here. Let me get a basket for her items. So that when she gets home from school, she and I can go through these and decide what we're doing with things. This is all from Easter. Fun, fun, fun. Well, some of it's just toys that have found their way into the kitchen. Those go back in the freezer. And if you're new to the channel, I have a four-year-old daughter. So we are still in the phase of uh, lots of creative little projects and things we're doing so okay getting closer this is also hers and I think I need to prune through my flowers so let me set that there to remind me to do that okay so these are all of her things these Easter eggs and Easter Easter candy I'm fine keeping out that's Easter candy, Easter eggs, I need to go back downstairs, that's Easter candy, more Easter candy, so hopefully you all had a good Easter or a good start to the spring season, we definitely did, we got great weather and went to see my grandmother who is 87 now, and then all of my cousins and their kids. So we all had a really nice time. We got to do some egg hunting and um, just visit with everyone, so that's always good. And then, like I mentioned, my husband was off work all week, so we just spent some good family time together, which is always nice. One evening we had a really... Um, fun game night. So our daughter is four and we're just starting to try to play games with her that are more, you know, a little bit of strategy involved. Um, so anyway, we let me get a bag for those. Hold the thought. This is for her. So when she gets home from school, we'll figure that out. Oh, one other thing I missed. But anyway, um, we came across a set of cards. I think they were Winnie the Pooh, and they were a matching game. Um, like each, there were pairs basically of matches. 
but we ended up playing Go Fish with it, and it was so fun. We really had a good time, even my husband and I, because, you know, sometimes we would shuffle, so it really would be a challenge, and then sometimes my daughter would shuffle, and it would end up like one person would just get match after match after match, so it was just really cute, and we had a good time doing that, so it was fun to find little moments like that just to be together, and do simple things, but really enjoy our time together. Okay, so definitely making some progress here. Need to find where's the little missing little bag here. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so these need to go to the basement, and I think I have something to take them down with. Here we go. I'll throw these in another bag and I'll just use that to take them downstairs rather than dropping them all. Because <laughs> that's what I would do. Okay, so that's my seven minute mark. I've definitely um, made a dent. What's left is I need to unload the dishwasher and then load it back up with dirty dishes. So I think I'll set the timer for, let's do another seven minutes and we'll see how long that takes. So the Easter candy, I'm not sure where we want to go with this. Let's see. Perhaps just in the pantry, so it's kind of out of the way. And then these need to go downstairs when I go, so I have a basket for that. Okay, so this is my water cup, that's fine. Compost needs to be emptied. This needs to be washed by hand. So here we go, here's another seven minutes. So in total, this will be about 15 minutes in the kitchen. So. I'm going to put things away and hopefully you're working alongside and getting some things done as well. And we'll make a dent and get back on track with things. just how at least my life goes that sometimes I do really well and I keep up with all of my routines and then you know stuff like this my allergies hit and they kind of knock me out or it's just a holiday and you think oh I don't want to have to do all the usual things and I did keep up with you know some of the basics but in the end <laughs> Uh, not everything, so time to get caught back up. Okay, let's see if this goes in this drawer. This goes over here. Okay. Oh, I still gotta do the bowls, so. Hopefully you're getting a little project tackled at your house. And I know um, if you watch The Fly Lady or Diana in Denmark, um, they're both really good at reminding me that just to keep up with routines, even though it is a holiday, and I do try, but like I mentioned, these allergies just kind of wore me out this time, so that's all right. Sometimes life is like that, and we just keep moving. One of the things I've been thinking about is um, I'm reading a book called, and it's not in here, so I'm going to try to remember it. I think it's called Mrs. Dunwoody's Excellent Guide to Excellent Instructions for Homekeeping, and it's really cute. Um, I think it came out like maybe about 10 years ago. Um, so if you've read that, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below. But it's a lot of the same ideas as the fly lady, just, you know, a little bit different take on it. So I've been thinking about maybe doing a series where we kind of follow along with some of the suggestions in that book. 
So if you would be interested in that, you'll have to let me know. Some of it's the same kinds of things, but you know, if, if you've been doing one thing for a while, sometimes it's just nice to get a fresh take on it. So that's what's been kind of coming to my mind is I think it might help me sort of find a new, uh, new motivation maybe for doing some of the same things I usually try to do, which is keeping up with routines, etc. So maybe that will be coming and we shall see. Almost done here. Let's see. I have three minutes left on my clock. I think I can get it definitely unloaded. Whoops. In the three minutes. And hopefully the rest loaded back up. Okay. Now I have a few hot spots in my kitchen. One of them is, I don't know if you can even see, but that far corner um, is definitely a hot spot. So. <laughs> I have some clothes over there that my daughter has either outgrown or doesn't want, so I'm going to see if they could go to my niece, who's a couple years younger, but sitting them there doesn't really get them out to my car, so I need to probably just take them to my car. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not sure when I'm going to see my sister, so I think that's my hesitation in bringing them out, but... At the same time, if they were in my car and I had them with me when I saw her, that would help. And then another project that's sitting over there is we had um, like a thermal aromatherapy pillow that goes around your neck. And it's one I've had for maybe 15 years. It was pretty old and it got kind of wedged down under the covers. Uh, at the end, foot of the bed. So when I was making the bed, because my daughter, we warm one up and she kind of snuggles with it while we're reading books at night and stuff. So when I was making the bed, I felt it down there and grabbed it. Well, it's, it's like a big horseshoe shape and when I pulled on it, it must have been pretty caught on the other end and so it split down the middle. So we had, you know, the, I think it has flax seeds and lavender, uh, blossoms or yeah I guess it's a blossom from the lavender plant all through the bed and had to get the vacuum out to get that cleaned up but I managed to save the majority of it whoops that one needs to go through and so that's another project sitting there is a ziploc bag with the remnants of the pillow and the contents of the pillow so I need to either sew a new case or figure out what I'm going to do with it. So I'm not sure if that will happen this weekend, but I probably need to move it off there. Just add it to my when I have time list and declutter that spot a little bit more. Okay, I'm almost done with my dishwasher. I have 30 seconds left. Stop talking. Get to doing, Natasha. Almost done. I have just a few things left on that bottom rack. And that feels a lot better because now that my kitchen is a little bit more in order, I can keep going on my to-do list and feel like I have a little bit less waiting for me. Okay, so that was my 15 minutes. This goes over here. These go in here. Okay, I'm going to put away this silverware, and then that will be done. And that was a pretty good use of that 15 minutes. And the only other thing I need to do is just put the dirty dishes from the sink back in the dishwasher. And I had just run this last night, so this was just breakfast dishes that needed to go in. And... I did not get it done before it was time to leave for school, so now we're doing it. Okay, good, 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 good. That is, oops, got it 
few of those little sippy cup things. Okay, go ahead and get this done. This is by hand. This can go in here. minutes of sort of getting things put back together. I'm going to do the last couple of hand washed items that are in the sink and compost and all that and then that will give me a good jump start to the day and the next thing I'm going to tackle are the couple of items on my list which are related to our family business. So that is the most important thing today after just kind of getting a fresh start to the house. So hopefully that was a good way for you to get things going and get cleaned up a little bit from the Easter break or just one of those days where you kind of have to play catch up. But thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a like if you did. Give me that thumbs up down below. Also, if you want to see more cleaning videos and um, decluttering videos, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.